So I have a testimony in regards to the supernatural blessings that the Lord brings specifically when it comes to our bodies. I can only testify of this because I have lived and reaped the supernatural blessings of sacrificing in the area of physical uh, exercise, physical fitness, to focus my time and keeping my eyes on the kingdom of God and what he had desired for me, specifically through these seasons of my life where I was seeking to, uh, to work on my physical body. I think this is so important right now because the Lord released a word, I think last week, and it was in reference to all of the, the enticing that the enemy is doing in getting um, surgeries to correct things that you perceive to not be um, good about yourself. Um, this is a, there is a spirit behind that a, that allows you to see with this deception because one of the greatest truths um, from someone who came from a lifestyle um, of drugs, of homelessness, um, of gangs, I, 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 I did many things to receive approval from people because that there was even that was deep rooted into my childhood um trying to please my mom my parents specifically my mom trying to be something that at that time I had no cap cap capability to to be you know I living up to something that I didn't have the standard of Jesus Christ I didn't have um the 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 blessing the grace um let alone you know the revelation that is needed and required um through salvation for you to walk with the companion the one that aids us supernaturally which is the holy spirit so Long story short, the Lord had to show me through this process of seeing the righteousness of God, through this process of seeing and finding out who God really was, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Revelation of a Father that was in heaven that truly wanted communion with me that this this was something difficult for me anyways by his grace by his mercy and by his love i was able to recognize after many years that god loved me and so with that came um this was one of the lessons which turned out to be one of my testimonies i was um just out of drugs maybe i had two about two years out of out of drugs out of rehab and now i was because of the damage that the drugs had done to my body i was you know when i surrendered my life to the will of God uh, I didn't know what that entailed at that time but I knew that I needed to get clean and that was the first objective that the Lord helped me to and so I ended up getting into a rehab and um, I was probably about less than 100 pounds so and and because of this the years of 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 this um, of this lifestyle it does its toll it, it has its toll on the body so when I finally um, had the ability the physical means you know uh, had an apartment i had a job by the grace of god i was able to start to work on my physical appearance and at this time i remember i was spending like six hours um uh, six days a week like about an hour and a half in the gym and at the same time i was um totally on fire with the lord and i realized that through this um through the season of my life, 
the Lord was calling me to sacrifice some of that time that I was spending in the gym. Um, and he was showing me at this time discipline and surrender and how these are forms of sacrifice to him and how these things pleased him. Well, I reaped the supernatural blessing. And in the beginning, I began to see as I surrendered much of that time to the Lord, I probably only ended up going to the gym um, in this specific season of my life. And even now it, it, it has, it's the same thing. And I reap the supernatural blessings of God. And this is actually something that I have to testify to because there are so many specifically women, even men now that are going to seek these, these, um, these surgeries and there will be destruction the enemy is using these surgeries enticing you to get these things done and there will be deformities as the result deaths are already happening but amongst the great by the grace of god those that survive these surgeries there will be deformities so it is extremely important for me to testify this because after i surrendered my heart to the will of god not only was I spending less time in the gym, I began to see supernatural results. That those six days a week, at least an hour every week, every day, was not uh, resulting in. This, this walk with the Lord is not mere word. This walk with the Lord is in word and in power. If we surrender these desires of our hearts, if we surrender these things, not only, first of all, I didn't, I never even expected anything, any, any supernatural change in regards to this aspect. I began, the Lord began to reveal to me, he removed this, this, this deception that I had in seeing myself as I wasn't now that I was found in Christ. He began to real, reveal to me who I am in Jesus. And with this, I began to approve and to appreciate the natural things that the Lord had, has, has created me with. I began, I, I, for years, I used to straighten my hair every single day. And a couple years back, the Lord, it was in this transformation where I began to see the beauty that the Lord created me as I was. Um, I began to see that I began to fall in love with my, the natural things of myself. It was a completely unusual, something that I had never experienced in my life. I was always chasing after a different look. Never was I did I approve of my natural, the natural parts of, 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 my, of myself. So when this happened, there was victory because the Lord allowed me to see my, who, how he saw me. In his son, he allowed me to see the beauty. And that beauty is not from the exterior. It is from the interior. And as I began to grow in the Lord, I began to see this. This It wasn't always a physical thing. I, over the years, I've actually gone wrinkles. I've actually, you know, there are things that come with, with old age. And even through this, I'm able to see by the, God, by the lenses of God who, ha who he has created me to be. And through this, I have reaped supernatural results in areas of, of you know, our, our, our what we are, um, what we perceive ourselves to be. Things that I had never asked for the Lord, from the Lord. And I just want to share this because if you have experienced this, with, with, where I know that there are actually other testimonies, even I have one uncle of mine who has testified of this. And so I know that if you have reaped this where you have surrendered this area of your life where the lord has revealed to you who you how he how he sees you then you will understand what i'm talking about and this is a supernatural blessing and the lord when he says and i must and i must clarify i must test that i must make something clear the more that the lord has transformed certain things of my body supernaturally the more i realized and this was in in this was in the transition of me realizing and, and actually becoming more modest 
this was in that whole finding out who I, I was in Christ, how I was a daughter of the living God, and how I was righteous by the righteousness of Christ, how I was beautiful as he has created me to be. I began to um, also desire to change the way that I dressed, to change the way that I presented myself, to change the levels of makeup that I would use, the you know, and um, and in this seeking and desiring modesty, did the things come of my body, knowing that this is for my husband and my husband alone, in regards to my physical nature. The Lord has created someone specifically for us. He has literally ordained someone that he has created for us. And a true arranged marriage would be one trusting 100% in God to arrange that marriage. Because the Lord has made us a companion if that is the Lord's there are exceptions to this where some have been graced to not marry but in reference to marriage these things these changes that are happening are only for one another so I wanted to share that I think it's really important with all of all of all of that all of what we're seeing right now in society, uh, seeking and chasing after what we perceive to be beauty, what the world perceives to be beauty. They put something out there, and we're like a bunch of robots. And I I fell victim to my own insecurities, to my own um, you know deceptions. And I pray that this lift your faith, that this give you hope, as you surrender every area of your life specific specific seasons will call for specific surrenders as you continue to grow and mature as the lord continues to discipline you and the holy spirit continues to sanctify you there will be different seasons of your life that you will be called to surrender certain things and may you be blessed by this we serve a god of mighty power We are beings of the Spirit. We must learn to walk in the Spirit, led by the Holy Spirit, in truth and in power. There is so much that the church has been lacking, that the Lord is bringing forth through revival and through the awakening. He is awakening a sleeping church. God bless you.